What's happening, my good people? It's your boy PKG Deluxe back with another vid on how I did. You already know what it is. So, what am I going to talk about today? So, I'm still on the fish stuff. I ain't got off of it yet. And I'm back with some more of it. So, I found a couple of other hustles or um, the people or commercial fishermen we were told us about a couple of other hustles as well. I'm really about to like take this tank stuff, make a business, try to make this 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 commercial fishery stuff make a business oh man i'm just seeing it all all day so check this out crab containers something that you really want to think about makes profit makes profit and fishermen buy these things so when we were talking about crab you have to have ways to catch the crab which crab containers are hard to really come by and easy to make but it just takes your time to do so we saw a crab container in this fold to see exactly how it works in this funnel. The cool thing about it, the crab trap, was made out of plastic and metal. So the metal part is just so it goes to the bottom of the ocean and the plastic part is just so that it gets stuck in there between each other. Um, we didn't get to actually see any crab, but we learned something about that. And that was that the crab go into it, get swallowed up into it, and then get distributed that way. But um, it, it's usually a lot of containers. And when I say a lot, I'm not talking about like 100 or 400. I'm talking about like 1,000. So you got to think of 1,000 containers that are hard to come by, are sold about $25 a pop. Yeah, that's a business. Oh, man. So if anybody could get their hands on doing or wanted to do, that's probably something I would start doing. You don't even have to get in the water. Selling crab containers is um, a little venture hustle that we've learned about on top of doing the crab hustle of uh, crab containers. Here's another one. You can do pressure wash and cleaning of the crab containers. So I plan on at some point in time, plan on going somewhere close to the pier, seeing if I can get in close with the fisherman shop because my father does have a pressure washer and seeing if I can clean off their, um, clean off their crab containers because I will spray spray them off if we're talking about a thousand and i don't know they're charging what five ten dollars a pop um oh, man like exactly so we have to think about those things it's another hustle in the crab containers making them and spraying them and who else would be better than the same guy you might see me doing that guys it might be fisherman good all right fisherman pkg then the last one i had was buoy retrieval now it depends on if you have a boat, but I thought this was pretty cool and I didn't know this. So like when I would go or when friends and I would go, we would go kayaking. You would see like little buoys sticking up in the ocean just or in the lake floating there. And I would always wonder like exactly what what's on it sometimes, but I never touch it. So that's what was on the buoys depending on, you know, where you are. The buoy actually has a large net full of crab containers that is really, really hard to pull out if you were to do it by hand, but it's it's going to weigh a ton. And so if once crabbing season is over and crabs go into hibernation, you can no longer get crab anymore. So you, some people leave out their containers out there all night and they never get the chance to retrieve them. So if you even had a boat or knew someone that had a boat, that's also another thing. You can go out there and just surf on the sea, surf on the lake or surf wherever people go fishing at and grab the container. So I was like, oh man, that's really cool. So it's a couple of things I just learned from the brief instances I was with them, but I just want you guys to know that it's a lot of hustles out there. Now I'm gonna get into another one talking about how they gotta go to and from, and that one's gonna be pretty cool too. So um, those two are just, if you wanted to do anything with crabs or if you wanted to make some type of extra hustle from it, um, I'm probably going to look at doing one of them because it's really, really cheap and that's creating the crab containers. And the second one, I just want to see if I can get in contact with someone who is possibly going to let me do that. Um, cause I wouldn't mind blowing something completely hard knocks until it comes off and then say, Hey, are you going to pay me? I think that's really cool. So, um, we're going to look at how that works, how it's done. If I am able to get my hands on to doing it, I'm going to show you guys a video of it. All right. So. PKG Lux is here. PKG Lux is out, baby.